Hey, hello and welcome to another session with your designer by design. Today, I'm going to show you different tools that can be used to enhance the presentation skills. I got few comments to make these videos using Google Slides. So in this video, I'm going to show you four different presentation mode techniques in both Google Slides as well as PowerPoint. To make things easier, I have created the slides with the same content on both Google Slides as well as PowerPoint and added slide numbers on top of the slides. All right, let's get started. Pointers. When people do presentation in a big room, the pointer could be a hand stick or a laser pointer. But in a web conference, the mouse cursor is generally used as a marker. Google Slides and PowerPoint offer a better one. Let's check it out. In Google Slides, when in presentation mode, from the bottom left menu, select pointer. This is bright and obviously better than the mouse cursor. PowerPoint offers pointers and other options. Let's check that out. When in presentation mode, from the bottom left menu, wait a second, is there one? It's so transparent that many don't even notice. All right, hover over and click on this little pen and select laser pointer. You get this bright red dot that can be used as pointer. The next feature that he offers is a pen. You can write over your presentation people. This is a very handy tool when you want to add details to the slides on the fly. The best part is it just stays even after when you are out of the presentation mode. When there is a pen, of course, there should be an eraser, right? Take a look at this. Choose eraser if you want to erase just a part of what you wrote or select erase all ink. That would erase all the ink on the slide. PowerPoint. This guy also offers another feature that's for highlighting something on the slide. The good thing is this also stays. Jumping slides or page navigation. How many of you had the situation where you had to go few slides back or to the appendix to answer a question? And many does this. Come out of the presentation mode, scroll to the required slide, then come back and start presentation mode again. Well, there are better ways to do that. In Google Slides, it's very simple. From the bottom left menu, select the slide number that you wish to go. But in PowerPoint, it's little different. First way is from the bottom left menu, select thumbnail view and select the slide that you want to switch to. If you want a seamless transition, then add links to the slides. No matter where you have the page numbers, you can make them as links. In Google Slides, select the page number, right click and select link. You will see slides in the presentation as an option from where you can select the slide number. Once you are done adding the links to all the page numbers in all slides, then it's as easy as clicking a link and there would be a seamless transition between any slide. In PowerPoint, you select the page number, right click and click hyperlink, which opens up a box where you need to select place in this document and select the appropriate slide number. The hyperlinks doesn't need to be just a text. It could be a shape or an object. If you don't want all the page numbers to be in the slides, there is another way. Draw a shape and paint it to match the background so it's completely invisible and make that as a link. When in presentation mode, when you hover over the link area, you will see the hand cursor that you can click on to move to the required slide. 
Another feature that's available in PowerPoint is custom slideshow. When you want to show different slides for different audience, this is the way to go. Here you can click the new button, give a name and select the slides that you want to show. You can create multiple custom shows as needed. When ready, select the show name and click on show button. PowerPoint has few other additional features. Let's take a look at how to zoom in. When you have a complex picture or a tiny text in the slide, from the bottom left, select the lens and you can select the portion of the slide that you want to zoom in. It's as easy as that. Clicking the escape key would take you back to the presentation mode. Another feature is a blank screen. When you want to pause the meeting or need a white screen to write something, from the bottom menu, click on the three dots, select screen and white or black based on what you want. Use these skills to make yourself a better presenter. As usual, for more useful videos, subscribe to Designer by Design. See you in another video. Bye now.